What's up everyone? This is Game Freak. And now that we have the Legend of the East satchel and the ledger upgrades maxed out, it's up to you to do the rest of the camp upgrades or decorations. Uh, definitely do that at some point because you know we are going for the maximum completion so you want to do everything but don't forget to do the gang camp chores which is uh cutting firewood moving bales of hay moving bags of grain and filling up the water uh, yeah it's boring but doing them increases your dead eye level so definitely do them Next thing you want to do is head over to Flatneck Station. There, you will meet a guy named Mr. Ramsbottom. You'll see him sitting on a bench, chain smoking, and waiting on a train. He tells you that he collects cigarette cards and he will pay you if you send him full sets. Now, there are 144 total cigarette cards scattered around the gigantic map on Red Dead 2. You can go looking for them if you wish, but it's much easier to just go to a general store and purchase packs of premium cigarettes. Each pack comes with a card. This is where having the Legend of the East satchel and all that gold that we collected in the part two video comes in handy now it's time to head over to valentine and go into the general store it's faster just to walk over to the shelf where the premium cigarettes are rather than using the book at the counter uh, you'll be able to hold 10 packs before you have to open your satchel and discard the packs when doing this you'll still keep the cards Repeat this process until you collect all 144 cards. Just check the compendium periodically to see your count. You'll get tons of doubles, but you can sell them at a fence after you send all the complete sets to Mr. Ramsbottom. Usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get all 144 cards. After you have all the sets, head over to the mailing station and send out the sets. After you mail them, just go outside the town and set up a camp. Sleep until the following morning and you should get a notification that you have mail waiting for you at the station. When you pick up your mail, You'll notice that you get some of that big chunk of money back that you spent on the cards. You'll also get some other items, but most importantly, you'll receive the vintage Civil War handcuffs, which you'll need to have the alligator tooth talisman made, which honestly you can't have that made until after you hunt the legendary bull gator after completing chapter five but this is a good thing to have out of the way. And don't forget to complete the challenges. The Explorer Challenge should be completed already if you followed my part two video. These challenges are also vital to collecting equipment. <clears throat> the Master Hunter Challenge in particular also unlocks the ability to hunt the legendary panther. Some of the challenges don't unlock right away and some actually can't be completed until you have access to New Austin. But don't worry, you have time on these. The point is, just don't ignore them. After all, we are going for the maximum completion in the end. The next video, we will be collecting rare weapons early and much more. So until then, Game on.